Wow, it is the end of the semester. Uh, you're probably excited. This video is for your last assignment. So congratulations on making it through. You only have one thing left to do next week, which is the midterm. And some of you may be working ahead on that. That's fine. I mean midterm, sorry, the final, the final exam. Uh, for your last assignment, um, I'm doing something different this year. Uh, rather than do one of the last couple of chapters that we didn't get to go over, which is, I think the one's about economic policy and social welfare, and another one's about foreign policy, which by the way, is both issues are really important to understand those issues. Uh, I find that a lot of people don't understand uh, um, uh, a lot of the domestic programs and things like that, like Medicare, Medicaid, and things like that. Um, and uh, though there's widespread support for them, they're, they're socialist programs, and, uh, and, and people often are, are confused about that. But anyways, we won't get to cover that. In foreign policy, if you ever hear people say with regard to foreign policy, um, number one, we just need to stay out of it. Uh, let's not mess, let's take care of people here at home, and that'll solve that, or the opposite. We just need to bomb the heck out of them, and America will whoop them, and then that'll be done with that. Uh, then you know that they don't know anything about foreign policy, because there, if there was an easy solution for Israel or for Ukraine, I promise you we would have found it. Um, these are complex situations, and especially when you talk about war, has no, they're very uncertain on how they'll go. And it's always easy to play armchair quarterback, uh, or what do they say, Monday morning quarterback, where you look in hindsight and see what we should have done, but uh, they're, they're difficult, difficult problems. But we won't get to, to, to get into those because as your American federal government instructor, um, I, I wanna leave you with perhaps what, what's most important. What, what can I leave you that's most important in this class? And I have reiterated this theme throughout the semester. So I wanna leave you with this and stress this because it is so important to me and to I think all Americans and should be important to all Americans. And it's unlike anything that I've ever had to teach before in my 27 years of teaching. Uh, I've never had to do anything like this, what I've had to do this semester and at the end of the semester. And that is to make aware of the threat posed by the lies surrounding the 2020 election. Um, the documentary I'm gonna have you watch is, is primarily about Donald Trump because Trump's lies about that election threatened to undermine our, the very foundations of our democracy. Uh, the video you watch, it begins a really strong beginning. I love the beginning of it because one of the things I teach in American history and in government is um, when we were a new country, uh, Washington was the first president elected in 1788, and then Adams followed him. Adams lost re-election to Thomas Jefferson. And there was a real question whether there could be a peaceful transfer of power. But Adams left, and Jefferson became president. And it was amazing, because for the first time, perhaps, in history, you had a different political faction that took over. Because in the past, either a monarch continued or there was war in order to have, and it showed that democracy could work, that you could have a peaceful transfer of power, that you could have elections and the elections would decide the outcome. And that's the way we had done it ever since. And I've always taught the election of 1800, that's what we did, and ever since then, we've shown the world how democracy can work, which is why on January 6, 2021, it wasn't just the insurrection that undermined American democracy. It was an embarrassment for our country, for the rest of the world, who looked upon America and said, I thought you guys knew how to do this. Uh, and, and that threat is, is by no means over because we have another election and we have uh, the former president running again and continues to assert that the election was stolen and, uh, and the leaders of his party continue to not challenge him on that, 
uh, and in fact, um, in, in fact, thereby le legitimize that. Um, so that there's real danger to the undermining of, of our democracy. And anybody who, within his party, so uh, Liz Cheney, Jeff Flake, uh, and, and numerous others that, that have challenged him on it have been expunged from the party. And it's, it creates a really dangerous situation. So in that, back to that opening scene, they show how Hillary Clinton had um, conceded uh, to, to Trump and, and attended his inauguration uh, because Trump did win the election fair and square in 2016. Al Romney conceded to Obama, how McCain conceded to Obama, how Kerry conceded to Bush, how Al Gore, in spite of that election, which is so close, conceded to Bush, and Dole conceded to Clinton, and, and Bush conceded to Clinton, and, and, and they go all the way back to recorded television, and throughout our history, everyone has conceded until the 2020 election, when Donald Trump refused to concede. And that very act threatens to undermine our democracy because all of his legions of followers will follow him and, and believe this lie that the election was stolen. And then they'll have lost faith in the American system of democracy and thereby undermining the whole thing. Um, it is um, an existential threat to our democracy. I mean, the very foundations, the very existence of our democracy could be threatened. Uh, and we're not out of the woods yet, not by any means, um, because uh, uh, if, if Trump wins the election, um, or even if he loses, he is sure to so uh, um, distrust in it as he has continued to do so. And that's another interesting thing as you watch the documentary, this isn't new with Trump. Uh, he was challenging the legitimacy of the grant of the uh, what you, the, the Emmy Awards when he was on The Apprentice, and he challenged Ted Cruz's victory in Iowa, and uh, so on and so on. So we we've seen a pattern of this, and it's it's uh, no wonder that that we're in this situation. So uh, I don't know where we go from here, but my hope is that. Republican or Democrat, independent, libertarian, I want you to believe in our Constitution and I want you to believe in our government and, and uh, the media and understanding. That's one of the things I tried to stress too, because I still see a lot of students, a lot of people in public who are like, you can't trust the media, you can't trust the media. Um, by and large, you can. Uh, the media, and I'm talking about the mainstream media, uh, it does its best, and in fact, oftentimes they they went overboard to try to give these ideas, you know, fair, and we call it false equivalency. There's a danger of false equivalency. Well, Trump says the election was stolen. Biden says it's not stolen. The truth is probably somewhere in the middle. No, uh, the election was not stolen. That's just the gist of it, and. Uh, where you get your information from is of utmost importance once you're done with this class. And uh, if you believe these things and you're getting sources, you're getting information from sources that are not legitimate, your whole factual basis, you're in a different reality. And that's where we find ourselves as Americans. We have one group of people that is in a completely different reality that's just not based in fact. Uh, when Nixon was impeached, uh, everyone knew, everyone agreed. And uh, if, if Trump were president 30 years ago, I think he would have been removed from office as Nixon was about to be. But now with all the different sources, we're, um, we're in a different world with two different realities. And I don't know how we're gonna resolve this except through education. Uh, and that's why we're in this class. So. Uh, finally, I'll leave you with this. I realize, again, as I've mentioned many times, that the majority of you are probably Trump supporters. Um, and I, I don't know what to say to that, except, um, and, and I'm not talking about policies with regard to the wall or immigration. When I'm talking about Trump, I'm talking about his actions that undermine 
our democratic system. Those are the ones that as, a, um, as your American federal government teacher, I feel obligated to address if we are to sustain what we have sustained for 230 years. So thanks for taking the class. Uh, I'll have that uh, <clears throat> final exam ready for you, and uh, I hope you enjoy the documentary. It's a really good one.